Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for September, so we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Capricorn? Boy, they're jumping. It seems like it's messy. I don't know. What do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Something is going on. It's messy. It's messy. It is. It feels like things are all over the place. You may have a lot going on. A lot another one so far we have two cards out oh we had a flipper we're gonna take those well it is messy let's get be real okay yoke feeling tied down or frustrated dagger Fear, worry, tense situations. Shark, take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. So you need to take care. You are in some sort of tense situation with somebody. Somebody's after you. You got a shark after you. You may be dealing with some frustrations right now. Maybe you know that you have a shark after you. You really need to be careful. Be careful with your money. Be careful who you're dealing with. What do we have for Capricorn? Two cards fell out. They fell out together. Uh, autumn and doesn't want commitment. So you could be dealing with somebody that doesn't really want commitment. You have shared values here with somebody. You're, you're, you may be shaking hands, striking up a deal with somebody new. You know, maybe it's signing a new contract or making an agreement could even be an oral agreement this is making an agreement with somebody you will be but you need to be very very careful spring is prominent if you uh, do something now you'll probably see things blossom by spring let's get one more Ace of Wands. Now, you may also got your prayers have been heard on the bottom. So your prayers have been heard. You may have been separated from somebody or you may have separated from somebody that doesn't want commitment. You're now going to be collaborating with somebody that you have shared values with. You probably have been in a tense situation. You may still be in it. You may be frustrated over it. Um, we do have a new spark, a new flame, a match. This is exciting, an exciting new opportunity. We have a new beginning here. We definitely have a new beginning. I feel like it's time for this new beginning. You may be breaking free from somebody that doesn't really want a commitment. This person may just be a player. What else do we have for Capricorn? New spark, new flame, new desire, sudden, sudden change. What do we have for Capricorn? Passion, passionate new beginning. Children, your love life is being affected by children. So children are a factor during this time. Finances in career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And I see that with take care. There will be a loss of material wealth. You may be really focusing on your material wealth and not a commitment. 
Maybe it's just not time. Maybe you're maybe you're gonna maybe you're starting something new and by spring that's when things really blossom. Maybe you're just focusing on your your business, your job, you know, um, your financial issues. You're probably frustrated at this point. You may have a new flame or a new spark or a new exciting opportunity that has been presented to you but you don't maybe you don't have time for it or you're not looking for it maybe it's time for your children um what do we have for capricorn you could be also dealing with somebody if you don't have children that does have children maybe you have this attraction to this person but this person you know doesn't really want commitment because they have to focus on their children first card out five of swords reversed Knight of Coins, Eight of Swords, reevaluating your current circumstances. I think that's what you're doing right now. You're working on your foundation, your home, your business, your job, you know, your stability. Seven of Wands, Three of Swords, Eight of Wands reversed. Four of Cups, Page of Cups, Strength. Let's talk about somebody that's in your life, that's in your energy. Let's get try to get a, some messages on them, who they are, what they're doing, you know, that kind of thing. King of Coins, Sun, Eight of Cups reversed, and the Hangman reversed. Let's try to get a little bit of advice for you. Eight of Coins, Star reversed, and Hermit reversed. What you don't see coming is a painful, stressful decision, a choice between two options. You are going to have to make a choice, okay? It is a painful, stressful decision. Um, right now, I feel like you're in some sort of pain. The, the middle card where you're at is the Three of Swords. So you may be suffering from some sort of separation or loss, feeling some sort of heartache, feeling some sort of pain. Somebody may have betrayed you with the Five of Swords reversed right above that. That's like a betrayal, the ultimate betrayal. Somebody that is very competitive, that likes to fight. This person um, may have tried to tie you down or cause, they may have caused you a lot of frustrations. I feel like this person really made you walk on eggshells. Uh, seven of Wands in the in the past. That is a fighter, highly, highly, highly competitive. Could have been a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Also a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could have been either or. There's somebody in your past that really uh, made you feel attacked. I'm not sure if they attacked you, you know, or they tried to scare you in some way. I feel like you're stabilizing right now. You've become more stable. You're really working on your self-value. You're working on yourself. You're working on your foundation. Um, you probably do have a love interest here, but you're not really sure about it. You know, you're really discontent. You're thinking about it a lot, but you're you're not really, you're like, you know, I'm still in a lot of pain. You know, I don't trust. I really don't trust or I'm not there or you're not completely healed yet. I think you're, you're going through a period of healing right now. I feel like you're really focusing on yourself. This is like, I'm really focusing on myself. If you're in a happily ever after married commitment, then, you know, this reading isn't for you. Okay, I feel like you are gaining strength, you are gaining momentum with who you are, you're healing, you're working on your own inner self, your own inner healing. I do feel like you have a suitor here, somebody that is very um, interested in you, this person may be flirting with you, they may have a crush on you, it could even be a secret admirer. There is somebody here that is um, really interested in probably getting to know you better or something like that they may not be really maybe you're blocking them it does feel like you're blocking them or you're not really giving them much because you are maybe you're in a place of mental turmoil because of the previous pain the previous heartache you know um i hate it the five of swords reversed is uh could be all out war you know you could be at war with yourself because you know somebody pushed you away maybe you were rejected you were belittled you know and you're like oh, wh how did this happen why did this happen I was so you know into it it was it was uh, yeah I feel like you really were into it 
and, and now it's like this is so much pain that you probably do not you're maybe you're scared you know the eight of swords to invest you're in scared you're scared to really open up to this person um anyhow i feel like right now um You definitely, definitely have your guard up. You really have your guard up. You're working on, you're working on yourself. I feel like you're really, really, really not letting anybody in, even though there is somebody here that you are thinking about. I think that you do have feelings for this person. You know, you will, you're, you're reevaluating, you know, your future. You're reevaluating who you are, your foundation, and who you are. And I feel like you, you kind of had the brakes on. You have the brakes on. You may be focusing on your business, your job, your stability. I do not see you focusing on a relationship right now. Maybe you're focusing on your children. If you have children, you know, or you're focusing on your home. You're focusing on your foundation and you're focusing on you. That's what I see. And I feel like you got somebody around you that... Um, wants to come into your life i feel like this person wants to come into your life they see your growth they see your glow they see your stability they see your security they see all the hard work that you are doing they see you that you have that your vibration you got the, the king of coins the sun card that, that this is like they see you as you know, being in a very positive place, you've really went through some sort of transformation. That's the way I see it. And I feel like this person wants to come back around. They they want to give you something now. They want to give you something solid. I feel like this is somebody that you know that you, you may have pushed them away or they pushed you away and now they want to come back around. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a Leo, or a Pisces. Um... This is somebody that has, uh, is, uh, I feel like this come, this person has become enlightened, maybe because of your departure, you know, with the, maybe you left, maybe you left them or, or they left you, but this person has been through a period of enlightenment. I feel like they have, I mean, we got the sun versus the hangman reverse that has become enlightened. I feel like this person has went through a period of growth. Maybe it's because you turned their your back on them, you know, and now they see things differently. They've gotten some sort of clarity. There is somebody here that, uh, whether it's you or them, that has gone through a serious growth spurt. Okay, it's a spiritual growth. It is definitely spiritual growth. Um, maybe maybe there's somebody that is that has taught you something. They have taught you something spiritually. You know, the, which has enhanced your spiritual growth. Um, anyhow, I feel like you are in a very, very good place. I feel like you are in a happy place. You're glowing. And I feel like it's evident that you're glowing. I think people see it. And I feel like that's drawing people to you. It's like you are, people are being drawn to your new vibration. Okay, I think that you're putting off a very positive vibration. Um, but I don't feel like you're really open to getting yourself into any type of new commitments right now although somebody is going to be making you an offer that you know you're gonna have to decide because it's like you're not looking for this whether you're in a commitment or not this could be a work commitment there's it's like you're gonna be made an offer with somebody that ha that see has the same values as you Okay, maybe you're making the offer. We have two people here that do have shared values that are going to be discussing an opportunity to work together. However that is, it could be in a work relationship or it could be a love relationship. Um, but it feels like you're not really open to a love relationship, but this could turn into a love relationship because the Page of Cups is here, the Four of Cups is here. It's like this is an opportunity for love. There is an opportunity and, and, and maybe it's a, a, a job that you would love. Whatever it is, this could bring you emotional fulfillment. So you need to reevaluate your fears. You need to reevaluate uh
your perceptions on on who you are and where you've been and where you're going next i mean the hermit down here in your advice is the hermit reversed that's a need to reevaluate, a need to re-identify yourself. And I feel like you have been going through a period of re-identification, but does, does the past really serve you? With, does what you came up with six months ago uh, still stand today? Is that really logical? Is it really pra practical? Is that, is that something that you are... Um, sure about because we got the star card reverse right next to that hermit reverse is it really what you asked for did you did you make that decision in haste you know did you make that decision without thinking do, do you probably the eight of swords is about reevaluating it's about reevaluating your future reevaluating the situation that you are confining yourself to because that's confinement it's restrictions that's right now right now in your right now you are currently restricting yourself refusing to see because the blindfold is on refusing to see you know that there's an opportunity right in front of you because the page of cups is right in front of that eight of swords you get that blindfold on saying no i'm restricting myself i'm staying put in this situation it's basically a self-protection tactic and i see that because i feel like you've been so betrayed you've been so belittled you've been so walked on you've had to defend yourself constantly and it feels like you've got this protection mode up right you got this i'm gonna i'm gonna put this barrier and i'm gonna restrict myself due to you know this thought because the eight of swords is thought that but it's really self-protection if you could read books on that people will protect themselves in numerous ways and they'll come up with ways to protect themselves to the, to justify the barrier or the wall that they have around them i'm gonna i'm gonna come up with this and it's it's really a self-protection protection tactic so I feel like I feel like that's what you're going through. I think I feel like you've been protecting yourself and I can see it with the 7 of wands and the 8 of swords. I feel like you need to break free from some sort of uh confinement that you have allowed yourself to stay in you've been self-protecting yourself. You need to stop that. You need to open yourself up. You need to be um brave. I feel like being brave is the name of the game here with the strength card. You need to be proud of, of your uh, accomplishments. You need to be proud of where you came from. Um, you do have a, a lover here. You know, somebody that is uh, very interested in you. This person knows that you're in pain. They see that you've been abandoned. They see that... You know, you've been betrayed and hurt, but they also see that you're solid, stable, and real. So, you know, I think that you need to re-identify and you need to reevaluate your decisions. And you probably need to uh, focus on the future. The, the advice cards are the eight of pentacles the star reversed and the hermit reversed there's this is like doubtful the star card ashamed you know the star the star reverse is ashamed it's a doubtful it's it's depleted it's a lack of spirituality i feel like you you for some of you 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 may, maybe you doubt that anything will ever work out so that's why you have this protective barrier up it's like you know what, i'm gonna i'm gonna come up with this to protect my it's 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 subconscious it's a subconscious self self protective tactic you know what i mean and you may not maybe you don't know that you're doing it subconsciously coming up with this reason you know the star card is a card of reason it feels like it's unreasonable with the star card reversed you you may have come up with some reason or some way to protect yourself from getting hurt again you know, some for some of it, it's it's like no, I can't do this because of my religion, or no, I can't do, I can't, or I'm gonna gain weight to protect myself. Nobody will want me if I'm overweight, or I'm gonna lose weight. Nobody will want me then if I'm too skinny. You know, or people come up with all kinds of ways to protect themselves, even subconsciously. And I feel like for some reason, I had to tell you that story. Okay, so I feel like you are in self-protective mode to protecting yourself from from getting hurt again. And I feel like you it's time for you to 
reevaluate your circumstances and step out into unknown territory. There is an opportunity here that could bring you happiness. There is, and I feel like you've been thinking about it. Um, but I feel like there's, there's, and maybe some of you are waiting, you know, you've been rejected by somebody and you don't understand why the hermit reverse is rejection. You know, you put in a lot of effort to this. Maybe you, maybe there's a reason why you reject, were, were rejected. The reason is, is you have something that is better suited for you. Um, a hermit reverse, midlife crisis a need to reconnect, a need to socialize, believe in yourself, have faith, have faith, put in effort, stop hiding yourself, come out of hiding. You don't need to be alone anymore. You're beautiful. You know, you're glowing. I don't think that you realize how beautiful you are. So I don't know whose message that is for. I feel like, I feel like for some of you, you maybe it's like there's so there's depleted. There's no faith. There's no faith. Maybe maybe you don't believe in commitment anymore because you've been hurt so badly. It's like you know, I'm gonna protect myself. I'm gonna come up with this plan to protect myself. And I'm, that's where I'm staying. I'm staying. I'm keeping it safe. I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna. I'm gonna I'm not gonna let anybody in. And that's where I'm at. That's where I feel feel that this is this is at. I feel like whoever you're dealing with that you have been waiting on is never gonna change. They're never gonna. They're never ever 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 gonna change. And I feel like you need to accept that. And you need to. Um, hold on to your value continue on your spiritual growth but but don't let that person that uh betrayed you and made you feel less than worthy and caused you to walk on eggshells stop you from having the happiness that you deserve so uh, anyhow you do you are going to i think that you're grieving still the main card is the three of swords that is separation it is tears it is sadness over, you know, um, having to accept that something is over. I also feel like you are dealing with somebody that is sad that uh, you won't give them a chance. I'm not sure if you blocked this person or they blocked you. Because you it's almost like you refuse to see them as an option. Eight of Swords or the Page of Cups. It's like you refuse to see them. It's because you just want to keep yourself safe. You don't you don't want to give them a chance. You also have somebody here that is very solid, that is very stable, that is highly awakened, but I feel like you're you're just not seeing it. You're not seeing it. It feels like for some of you, you're wait you're waiting for somebody to come back around that is never going to change. And I don't know whose message that is. It's like the Hamian reverse is, again, I mean, they could go many different ways, but I feel like just that's for somebody that they, it's like, I, I want this person to come back that's never going to change, you know, because that's the only person that's going to make me happy. That's not true. You need to work on putting yourself out there you and I feel like you're just burying yourself in your work right that's the that's a great self-protective tactic isn't it it's like hiding behind the job hiding behind the work no faith no faith I really feel like it's time for you to socialize. It's time for you to open up. There's wish fulfillment here, but you gotta, you gotta see, you gotta see it. You gotta, you gotta see it. It's like you're losing an opportunity by 
protecting yourself. You're definitely in protection mode. And I do feel see the feeling tied down and frustrated. And I feel like you're frustrated because, I mean, you, if, you, if you want something to work out, it takes two, not one. Like the shared values, those are, those are two hands coming together. It takes two, not one. For some of you, there's like a, there could be a, like a new, I mean, the Ace of Wands, when I see that, it reminds me of a new sexual partner here, you know, or a new exciting opportunity. There's a new exciting opportunity here, but action is needed because the Ace of Wands, a card of action, you need to take action. You know, it's time for you to be happy. It's time for you to be happy. You're going to be receiving messages of love or communicating with somebody that you have shared values with but there's like delays in communication with the eight of wands reverse it's like the communication stops there's there's like a halt in communication and it's because of fear it's like all right i don't want to be hurt again i'm going to stop right now let's stop let's talk and stop talk and stop talk and stop Anyhow, I feel like you are going to be partnering up with somebody this month should you decide to open up and reconnect and step outside of your comfort zone. Of course, the choice is yours. Good luck.